Hello and thanks for watching Local Edition, I'm Eric Quatilla. Giving teens something to do after school. That's one of the goals of a good number of programs held by the Cadillac Area YMCA, and the YMCA's Teen Drop-In Day is no exception. Vic McCarty stopped by the group's teen center and has the details. It's a Monday afternoon in Cadillac, and these kids are done with school for the day. So they're hanging out at Teen Drop-In Day at the YMCA Teen Center across from the high school. Will Schemer is the Teen Center coordinator. We're open for teens to come here after school uh, three days a week. Basically, it's just a, a place for them to come and hang out, like, you know, until their parents get out of work or, you know, just as a fun place that they can come after school, kind of relax after, you know, a long day of school and stuff. So, H2. Teen drop-in time is Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, 3 to 7, and has plenty of activities to occupy the drop-in's time. Uh, you know, we have air hockey, ping pong, you know, foosball, you know, we have floor hockey, we do a lot of dodgeball, play a lot of basketball, we go outside when it's nice. Now, Ashley Brandon has been a teen center assistant for just over a year, and she says knowing how to interact with the kids is a valuable asset. It's very important. If you don't interact with them, they're not going to respect you. When we interact with them, we get to know them a lot better. And it helps us with our planning because we know what they like to do. Interaction takes skill. You have to know how to do a lot of things from playing battleship to rock band to playing catch and making sure that, well, everyone gets along. Well, sometimes it can be a big challenge, but you get to know signs of when to step in and maybe direct their attention elsewhere or get them to play games that they can take out their aggression in a safe way. Now, when the current school year ends, the teen center will shut down for the summer, and its staff, along with other YMCA staff, make the transition to nearby Camp Torrenta, which is a youth camp for kids in conjunction with Cadillac schools. Now, there's some good and bad news on the teen center's future because in October, the YMCA's new building opens up directly next door to Baker College. At the moment, the teen center is directly across the street from the high school, well within walking distance. At its new location, not so much, but a bus schedule apparently is in the works. In Cadillac, for Local Edition, Vic McCarty. Now, Eric, back to you. Thanks, Vic. Coming up next on Local Edition, a local women's group is getting ready for their annual wellness celebration. The details about the group and their event are just ahead, so stay with us. 